As a kid, I definitely remember feeling nervous a lot and having different instances in elementary school and high school and even my college graduation where I felt that it's like boulders on my chest and foggy almost in my head. I remember that feeling really distinctly but didn't know what it was and kind of just thought I was alone in it and that I was a little bit crazy and it wasn't normal to be feeling that way. I shouldn't feel that way and it wasn't until Really, up until I got married, when I was talking to a friend, we were getting ready to go on a trip to Europe and I was really nervous about the flight. And I was talking to a friend and she said, oh, I have that too. And I was like, mind blown, <laughs> mind blown that somebody else felt the same thing that I was feeling. And that really put the name on it for me, really like, oh, this is anxiety. And a lot of people have this. <laughs> For me, when I'm experiencing a really bad panic attack or when the anxiety is at its worst, it feels like I absolutely can't concentrate. It feels really out of control and almost claustrophobic. I think for me, that's how it comes out where I feel like everything's kind of closing in. Worry is different from anxiety. I think everyone experiences worry to some extent, right? You're worried about your upcoming test or you're worried about your kid's first day of school, whatever it may be, but it doesn't stop you from going about your day and taking care of the things you need to take care of. But anxiety is debilitating. So when my friend told me that she had anxiety and we were able to put a name to what I was experiencing too, I contacted her counselor. And initially I thought, okay, I'll go a couple times just to get through this flight. I thought maybe this is all I need. <laughs> And so I went a couple times leading up to our trip and she gave me some really helpful tools to help myself, you know, calm down at getting onto the flight. And then it was really clear that I needed to keep going and that this was a deeper, heavier issue than initially I thought. And so for about a year, I would say, or maybe two, I went twice a month, every other week and it took a long time to feel like there was progress. Ugh, counseling is so amazing and it's so hard because you feel like you're not making progress, but then all of a sudden one day you realize, I didn't just panic. Like the anxiety didn't come or I actually just calmed myself down and you realize all that money <laughs> was so well spent. And it probably took a few more years after counseling until I started opening up a little bit more. It, with my friends about my anxiety. And that was one of the best things that I ever did because to be loved is to be known. To let my people into what I was dealing with gave them space to pray for me. There are days when I'm heading into counseling and I don't wanna go because I know it's gonna be too difficult and I don't wanna bring it up and I don't wanna talk about it. In the church, it's easy to make the solution seem easy because we say you just have to give your burden over to Jesus and you just have to let Jesus take this from you and help you. And it seems so easy in theory. And that has actually in some ways worsened my anxiety because I think I'm not doing enough. It's not working yet. Why isn't it working? I can choose to be alone and stay alone. I can choose to wallow in it or not get help, or I can choose to let people in and experience the freedom and the healing that comes with community and people praying for you and even professional help too. The more that I press in and spend time with him, even if it's listening to a Bible app or reading a quick devotional in the morning, whatever I have time for with two little kids, which is sometimes very little time, the more I press in, the more I feel that peace and the more I actually feel equipped for when anxiety does come, I feel like I've been gathering up my tools to help me in that. There is a lot of emotional and mental work that has to go into it, but it can be done. And it's so, so, so worth it because even though I'm not necessarily standing on the other side of healing and freedom, every day I get to celebrate the little victories and I get to know that I am a work in progress and that God hasn't forgotten me. He loves me where I am and he wants to come alongside me and use what I'm going through to help others. <laughs>